Hello everyone. So as you know, in a, in this summer war simulation, if we simulate the game for a longer time, the dead bodies will be piling up in the in the game. So and also uh, previously we had uh, ragdolls enabled for them. And in a while, let me show some screenshots. I'm not going to simulate it because it takes some time. So the dead bodies are piled up like this so this seriously affect the performance of the game so today we are going to look into a way to freeze the ragdoll effects after some after a given time so that they will not be interacting with other physics simulations anymore so that will help us to save performance let me show you the demonstration play the game now in four seconds I disabled the react uh, ragdoll so that's why this leg is staying up like this so so this uh, even if I try to walk on this character now it doesn't react to the character let's try here see this uh, gun already has the simulation that's why it is reacting but the ragdoll itself is not reacting with the character all right so let's see how to implement this today So if I leave the AIs to fight each other for a long time, you can see a lot of dead bodies are piling up and they still have, even after a time, they still have these ragdolls in Apple. Simulations are going on. So that's why these dead bodies are keep interacting with the characters when another character walk nearby them. See? and sometimes it affects the characters and get thrown away so to avoid such problems what i want to do is after a while let's say like two three seconds i want to freeze the ragdoll effects of the right body of the character bodies so that uh, that would be also better for the characters for the performance of the game as well right so let's see how to do that now right so first uh, let me open a test project test map that i only have have few characters and the player right here we have the just the characters and if I open this ALS anime man this is the parent class of all the characters with the mesh body and here uh, when the character die I have this under damage I call this kill character so here we start the ragdoll and then we call this kill character so let's go to the kill character implementation so it, uh, whenever a character dies we uh, the ragdoll effect is always enabled because that happens in this step right so now here uh, at the end so what can we do if we want to stop the ragdoll simulation uh, actually there is we can just set simulate we can just disable this calling with the uh, false 
but if I do that then the ragdoll will be reset into the animation that's not exactly what happened we need to freeze the character as it is in the final moment of the ragdoll so here we have let me get a reference to the mesh we have this put rigid body to sleep but here we need to give the bond name so what we can do is first let's add a delay of let's say just to test this for five seconds and in five seconds uh, let's get all sockets socket names and we can run a for each loop here uh, sleep put rigid body to sleep we can run this function for each born name from this get all socket names we will receive the born names as well so yeah it will be uh, it will make all the simulated bones or rigid bodies to sleep and yeah that's pretty much it but in order to further improve the performance we can do other things like stopping the tick all those things as well but let's just test this part and see what happens let me play the game Okay, I think we should reduce the number of characters in the scene. Oh. It doesn't seem like the ragdoll effect is stopped. Let me just delete few characters. Oh, and keep only one. Right, to see if this uh, this born sleeping is actually happening, let's add a print so we can make sure all the necessary functions are being called. Right, in 5 seconds we should get a list of born names. Right, it seems that it happens. But this character is still in draft. It seems alright. Oh no. It's not alright. Why is that? Right. Let's try something like this. If this is actually freezing. Uh, let's freeze this in a time like 0.3 seconds so we should see the character in air oh wait we can actually put the character maybe in a face like this so that we can make sure the character is there will be enough time to fall down to the surface so if the character freezes in the air it should stay in the air oh the barrel 
explosion didn't affect it. Right here did fall down. But not post. Okay, what if we set tick in a word? Remove the tick of the character. Oh, that worked, <laughs> but this is weird but interesting. Let's try increasing this value. Maybe that can work. All right, it is okay. Oh, I can climb on that too. Great. So. All right, so that works. Then, yeah, then let's increase this time to four seconds. Because we don't really need it to freeze in the air. Now this should be properly frozen. Great. And after that, if I completely remove the collision of the mesh, that should be better too, because set collision enabled to no collision. Because then a uh, character will not react with the uh, rigid body at all oh what why did that happen shall we change the order there That's not going to work. So yeah, let's remove that and let's try set collision enabled for the complete actor. So, Detector in Amber Collision. Let's try this with the force. Oh, that also doesn't work. Alright then, let's forget about this collision part. Let's... Let's uh, only leave the... At this stage. We just disable the tick and put the rigid bodies to sleep. So actually even without the collisions there is a way to using pause snapshots and freeze the, have the final state of the rigid body for the character but let's look into that approach in another video. For now I'll stop it here. Here is this is the final demonstration. I have added three characters and did in five seconds or four seconds the rigid bodies should be disabled.
right now they are not reacting anymore with the character all right and thanks for watching as always project files will be available in the patreon page for the download link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye